welcome to the children of Israel, the Hebrew Israelites only. Welcome to another Bible study lesson. And today's lesson is going to be called Allegiance. Okay? It's going to be called Allegiance. And um, in this Bible study lesson, we will be primarily speaking to Christians and also to the fake Hebrew Israelites. And when I say fake Hebrew Israelites, I'm speaking of those who don't necessarily claim to be Christians, but they still worship, serve, honor, pledge allegiance to, and are committed to Lucifer, a.k.a., you know, the Lucifer, a.k.a. Jesus Christ character of the so-called New Testament. These are not um, Christian church members, but they are Christian camp members, okay? Claiming to be Hebrew Israelites or children of Israel, but they are not because um, you cannot be a Hebrew Israelite and, and still give any honor and service to Jesus Christ, a.k.a. Lucifer, okay? Now, let me say this. I love my people and I don't want, you know, any of my people um, to be caught up in those uh, Christian churches and in those Christian, Christian camps. But I know that many of them are still in those uh, Christian churches and those Christian camps, especially in those Christian camps. And they may sincerely not know that they are still knee deep in idolatry by adding another God to the most high God. So hopefully this information in this video will be there for them. And hopefully the information in this video, the most high, you know, if the most high permits, it will be there for them. And um, it will help them to make a better decision. Um, however, that is none of my business, okay? That is the most high business. I have nothing to do with that, you know, with their decisions and all that stuff. All I can do is put out this information, okay? And that's what I'll do. That's what I intend to do. So, like I said, in this Bible study lesson, we will be primarily speaking to the Christians and to the fake Hebrew Israelites. Because a true Hebrew Israelite, once he or she hear and understand the truth, they are not going to continue to have anything to do with uh, Jesus Christ or any other God for that matter, or, you, or idol or statue or anything like that for that matter. The most um, other, you know, any, any other God other than the most high, okay? So... If you are a true Hebrew Israelite, you are not going to be serving or worshiping or honoring or anything, have anything to do with Jesus Christ. So when I say fake Hebrew Israelites, I'm speaking of those who don't claim to be Christians. However, they still worship, serve, honor, pledge allegiance to and are committed to Lucifer, a.k.a. Jesus Christ. The so you know of the so-called New Testament, and I don't care if if the so-called black people or dark-skinned people or brown people have changed the color of the picture or the image of Lucifer Jesus from white to black or to brown or whatever. I don't care if y'all had changed changed his name from Jesus, which is not even a Hebrew name, to Yeshua or any of the other um, Hebrew sounding names. He is still Jesus Christ, a.k.a. Lucifer, even if you change his color and his name and all of that. He is still Jesus Christ, Lucifer, and he is still an idol, and he is still not the son of the most high God of Israel. So we will be mostly speaking to you all, 
because I want to show y'all how y'all have nothing coming to you and your and your allegiance to Jesus Christ. And we will be talking to you about that in this study. And we will be um, talking to you about how your commitment and your loyalty and like I said, your allegiance to Lucifer, a.k.a. Jesus Christ, and to his book, the book that is primarily, you know, speaks of him um, and, and primarily honors him with the red letters in it, okay? That is to say, the so-called New Testament. That's the book that you honor. We will show all of y'all who are committed to that idol, that statue, that devil, because that is what uh, a statue is. In the Torah, a statue is a devil. Now, let's not waste no, no time. Let's jump right into it, okay? Now let's document that a statue, um, let's document that a statue is a devil, okay? Let's go to 2 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles, sorry, 2 Chronicles chapter 11, and let's pick it up in verse 13. 2 Chronicles. Chapter 11 and verse 13. And the priest and the Levites that were in all Israel resorted to him out of all their coast. Verse 14. For the Levites left their suburbs and their possession and came to Judah and Jerusalem. For Jeroboam and his sons had cast them off from executing the priest's office unto the Lord. Second Chronicles 11 and 15. And he ordained him priests for the high places and for the devils. And for the what? And for the devils. And for the what? And for the devils. See? Devils are statutes, okay? Let me read verse 15 again. Second Chronicles chapter 11 and verse 15. And he ordained him priest for the high places and for the devils and for the calves which he made, which he had made. You see that? He made that devil. It was a statue. Devils are statues. I'll say that again. Devils are statues. I say that one more time for those who don't realize it or understand this. Devils are statutes. So we will show all of you who are committed to and who believe in that New Testament, which is full of confusions and full of straight up lies. We will show all of you who are still loyal to Lucifer Jesus Christ, that idol, we will show all of you who pledge allegiance to Lucifer, a.k.a. Jesus Christ, and to his writings in the, in the so-called New Testament. Okay? Um, so, we're going to show y'all we will show all of you who are still loyal to Lucifer, Jesus Christ, and, and, and to that idol and to that New Testament. We will show you how your allegiance to that garbage is going to lead to nothing but destruction for you. Because you refuse to accept the truth, even when the truth slaps you right in your face. Okay? And we are going to start off by going to one of the most, uh, one of the promises, I'm sorry, one of the promises that the Most High have made 
to his people, the Hebrew Israelites only, the children of Israel, okay? The Most High's elect, the Most High's remnant, the Most High's chosen people, and to nobody else. Because the Most High have made um, Let me say this The Most High have not made Any promises of salvation Or any promises Of, of a promised land or, or anything To any of the Lucifer A.K.A. Jesus Christ loving Christians or Gentiles Or fake Hebrew Israelites Or to anybody other than the true Hebrew Hebrew Israelites, okay? The Most High's chosen people. The other nations have nothing coming but destruction to them. That's all they have, that's all they can look forward to, okay? Now let's hear um, what the Most High says about his chosen people through his prophet Moses, okay? Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 7. Let's pick it up in verse number 6. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people. You hear that? Holy means what? Separated. Separated unto who? The Lord thy God. So who is Moses speaking to? Moses is speaking to the children of Israel. Let me read that again. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Like I said, holy means what? Holy means separated. The most holy one, the most high, he separated us from all other people of the earth who is us the children of Israel he separated us the Hebrew Israelites he separated from all the other people of the earth Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6 for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God the Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth you hear that and the Most High don't want us to mix with those other people of, uh, you know, that are upon the face of the earth. Because if you do, you will be screwing yourself right out of existence. Okay? You will become something else. You will no longer be a Hebrew, Israelite, a chosen and all that. You will become something else. You will become one of them. As they keep mixing, mixing, mixing and going down the line, you, you, will, you will no longer be a, a so-called black man. You'll probably be a high yellow or white or something like that. And, and you will no longer be a Hebrew Israelite. Okay? Let's continue. Um, let's go up a little bit, actually. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 7 and let's pick it up in verse number 3. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 3. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. You see that. He said, I separated you from all the people of the earth and you should not make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son. Neither shalt thy do his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. So the Most High don't want his chosen people mixing with the other nations. Why? Verse 4. Why don't the Most High want you to mix with them? We're going to read it right now. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 4. For they will turn away thy son from following me. You hear that? That they may serve other gods. Okay? You will be in a Hebrew Israelite. You go and in, uh, marry a, a Christian. What's going to happen? They're going to have you worshiping that idol. Okay? So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you, okay, and destroy thee suddenly. You hear that? Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 5. 
but thus shall ye deal with them. Ye shall destroy their altars and break down their images. That's what we're doing here. We're breaking down the image. We're showing you that it's, it's false. It's a fake. It had nothing to do with the Most High God. Uh, but thus shall ye deal with them. Ye shall destroy their altars. Okay? We're destroying them with the words of our mouth. And break down their images. And we break it down and destroy that image with the words of our mouth. And cut down their groves. And we're doing that with the words that come out of our mouths. And burn their graven images with fire. And we're burning it right out of the words from our mouths. Okay? Right here. In this study, we're going to be tearing that image up. Okay? This is the reason why... On, on, on this channel We don't worship no JC Jesus Christ And I don't care What color you make him Okay On this channel We plead With our people The true Hebrew Israelites Those who are Brown skinned or, or so called Black skinned or dark skinned And and if you think that you might be Hebrew, we are telling you to worship and serve the Most High, your God, alone. And stop worshiping and serving or giving any kind of acknowledge or service or honor to that Jesus Christ, a.k.a. Lucifer character. It's going to get you destroyed by the Most High, okay? The Most High is not going to add another people to us. Neither will he allow another nation of people to mix with us. He don't want us to mix ourselves with other races. Because the other nations don't have um, any promises of receiving uh, um, um uh, it, uh, of the blessings And of the promises That the Most High has For his people only The children of Israel only Okay The Hebrew Israelites He don't want He don't want your blessings To be on them, those people Okay He want He want to bless his people only The children of Israel So don't mix with these other nations Okay if you do, then you will no longer be a Hebrew Israelite if you continue to mix yourself with other nations. So why would you add another God, mix another God to the Most High God and saying that he's with the Most High and all that stuff? Why would you do that? The Most High won't even mix other people with you, but you're going to mix another God with him. The Most High God said, uh, he is holy. Holy means separated. You can't have another God with the Most High. And just like the Most High wants you to be holy as he is holy. He said, be holy as I am holy. Don't mix yourself with other people and don't mix no God with me. There is no other God, Jesus Christ and all that, Lucifer and all that with the Most High. That's a lie. He clearly says there is none else beside me. And he clearly said that there is none after me. So if someone comes and says that I come from God, um, um, you know, I come from the most high God and he's my father. If you if you believe in, in God, believe also in me and stuff like that or follow me or, 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 or bow down to me. That means that that individual came after the Most High God. And the Most High God said, there is none after me. So that individual is a liar. You got to see this. If you're a real, true Hebrew Israelite, you, you, your eyes should be open to this. Okay? You should understand this. You should see this. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 43. And verse 10, 
the document that the Most High God said, there is none after me. So if somebody come after the Most High God and say that they came from him and, and then telling you to bow down to them, that person is a liar. Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 10. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord. Saith who? The Lord, the Most High. And my servant. Whom I have chosen. You are the chosen people. Okay. That ye may know and believe me. Don't believe in no Jesus Christ saying you believe in God. Believe in me too. No. Believe me. And understand that I am he. He is singular. Before me there was no God formed. Neither shall there be after me. Neither shall there be what? After me, neither shall there be what after me. There should not be anyone after the Most High God. Okay, if you can see that, you know, then you are a true Hebrew Israelite. If you can't see that, you ain't none of the Most High's people. So you keep go right ahead and keep serving your idol, because the Most High going to destroy you anyway. You have nothing to do with the Most High God. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Why are you saying that you need to go through Christ to get to God? If you have to go through Christ to get to God, to get to the Most High, then you have a God before the Most High God. You are breaking this, 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 this first um, commandment right here. I'm going to read that again. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. You hear that? Exodus 20 and verse 4. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Jesus Christ is a graven image. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Or the likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Another representation of the uh, Christian church is a fish. Okay? Those are graven images. Now let's, let's see, uh, they're they trying to get you to worship Jesus in the uh, New Testament. Uh, let's go to Romans chapter 14. Let's pick it up in verse number 9. Romans chapter 14 and verse 9. For to this end, Christ, who? Christ, Jesus Christ, a.k.a. Lucifer, both died and rose and received, I mean, and revived that he might be Lord. He might be what? Lord. He might be what? Lord, both of the dead and of the living. They said Jesus Christ is both Lord of the dead and of the living. Jesus Christ is not Lord over anything. Okay? That's a lie. That's a big fat lie. A big fat Christian New Testament Lucifer writings lie. Jesus Christ is not Lord over anything. It is the Most High who kills, and it is the Most High who make alive. Not no, not no Satan, devil, Lucifer, nothing. It is the Most High who do that. Okay, Jesus Christ is not Lord of the dead, and He is not Lord of the living. He ain't Lord over nothing. Isaiah. Chapter, chapter uh, 42, Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 8, listen closely, I am the Lord, okay, let me say that again, I am the Lord, so the most high is speaking here, not Jesus, and he said what, I am the Lord, that is my name. Not Jesus' name, my name. And my glory will I not give to another, 
neither my praise to graven images. So the most high is Lord, not Lucifer Jesus. The most high is Lord over the living and over the dead. Okay, let's document that. First Samuel chapter two and verse six. The Lord killeth. Who killeth? The Lord killeth. Who killeth? The Lord killeth. The most high killeth and make alive. Okay. He bringeth down to the grave and he bringeth up. Not Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ can't do nothing. That's why Jesus even died himself. Because he is a liar. How can you be Lord over the dead and over the living, but you yourself is dead? It don't make no sense. But when you are a fool, you will believe anything. Somebody can whip out their junk and, and, and piss on your head and, and, and say, oh, oh no, that's just uh, rain. Rain coming all down in your pissing all in your mouth and everything, and you you thinking that that's uh, rain because they said it is rain, but it's really piss. Okay, you got to stop that, man. You got to start hearing what the Most High says and compare it with the New Testament to see if that adds up. If it don't add up, the source document is the Old Testament. The Torah and Moses' writings and the prophets and things like that. Okay? You got to stop that, man. Now let's continue to document that the Most High is Lord over the dead and over the living and not Jesus Christ, a.k.a. Lucifer. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he. And there is no God with me. I kill. Who did the killing most high? Who is Lord over, over, uh, over the dead? And who do the killing? I kill. And I make alive. I wound. And I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Jesus Christ can't do nothing. The most high God kills. And he make a lie. Nobody else can do nothing. Nobody else can, can talk to Most High God and try to make him to do anything that he don't want to do. Okay? Nobody can't lay hands on nobody and heal them and stuff like that. No. The Most High God said, I kill, I make a lie, I wound, I heal, neither is there any that can deliver. You can't, nobody can save anybody out of the Most High's hand. Deliver means save. You cannot save anybody out of the Most High hand. Most High God even killed Lucifer Jesus. He killed everybody. Okay? Now let's go back to Romans chapter 14 and listen to more of the garbage. Okay? Romans chapter 14 and verse 10. But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set at naught thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. That's a big fat lie. Why, why did I say that? There is no judgment seat of Christ. The most high is judge, not Christ. The most high, our God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the great I am, the God uh, of, of the Hebrew Israelite He is judged Not Jesus Christ of the, the, the world Okay The so called stupid New Testament Not Jesus Christ He ain't no, no uh, judgment seat Jesus Christ aka Lucifer Ain't nothing but a liar Romans chapter 14 and verse 11 For it is written As I live saith the Lord Says who? The Lord. This is talking about uh, Lucifer, Jesus. They're calling him the Lord. As it is, for it is written, as I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me. To who? To me. Not to the Most High, but to Jesus Christ, a.k.a. Lucifer. 
What a big fat lie. <coughs> Excuse me. He said, as I live, uh, I'm, he said, I'm sorry, let me say that again. For it is written, as I live, saith the Lord, which is to say Lucifer Jesus, every knee shall bow to him. He said, to me, not to the Most High, but to Jesus Christ, a.k.a. Lucifer. And that ain't nothing but a big fat lie. And every tongue shall confess to God. And he is calling himself God. He's calling himself God. Let's continue. Romans chapter 14 and verse 12. So then every one of us shall give an account of himself to God. See, they call him Lucifer Jesus God. They call him God, not the most high, but Lucifer Jesus. Now let's continue. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 1 and let's pick it up in verse 6. And again, when he br bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he saith, and let all the angels of God worship him. You hear that? They saying, let the angels of God worship who? Let the angels of God worship him. Who is him? They saying, uh, 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 well, are they saying worship the most high God? No. They're not saying worship the most high God. They're saying let the angel of God worship him. Who is him? The one that they call in the first begotten. Who is that? Lucifer Jesus. They are saying in this stupid, confusing um, so-called New Testament they saying that Jesus Christ you know they saying let the angels of the most high God worship Jesus Christ that's what they saying wow that is so stupid now let's go to Revelation let's go to chapter 5 and let's pick it up in verse 13. And you're going to hear some more blasphemy, okay? I want you to see, we go into these verses so you can see the blasphemy and the lies in this New Testament. Revelation chapter 5 and verse 13. And every creature which is in heaven and on earth, on the earth and under the earth, and such as are in the sea, and all that are in them heard I saying blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the lamb forever and ever. In Isaiah chapter 14, Lucifer said, I will be like the most high. So right here. Again, you are seeing him putting himself, you know, like the most high God, as if he's the most high God or with the most high God. And here he is letting you see that, uh, you know, you're seeing that Jesus Christ is Lucifer right here. OK, he's doing exactly like Lucifer said he would do. OK, compare this. Go back to um um, Isaiah chapter 14 and I think it's around verse 9 or something like that and then compare that with Revelation 5 and 13 and John 14 and 6 and stuff like that and you will see that he is Lucifer okay but let's continue let's get some more Ephesians we, we're looking at all of these lies so you can see it and you can have these verses and you can go back and study them yourself okay Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 19. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to usward who believe according to the working of his mighty power? Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 20. Which he wrought in Christ. No, he didn't. When he raised him from the dead. No, he didn't. And set him at his right 
at his own right hand. No, he didn't. In the heavenly places. He did, he did what? He set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. They're saying that the most high have set Jesus Christ, who is really Lucifer. They are saying that the most high have set Lucifer at his own right hand on his throne in heaven. Those are all big, fat lies. Let's continue. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 21. Far above principal, all principality and power. You hear that? And might and dominion and every name above how many names? Every name, including the name of the Most High. Every name that is named. Not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. That is nothing but a bunch of bull. Okay? Bull. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 22. And has put all things under his feet. Wow. Making you bow down to him. Under his feet. And gave him to be the head over all things. Over how many things? All things. This is nothing but lies. Not just some things, but all things. Okay? But head over all things to the church. That's what they're saying. they say saying over all things, even over the most high. When they say all things, they include in the most high. They're just not saying it like that. But that's what they're talking about. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 23. Which is his, which is his body, the fullness of of him that filleth all in all the new testament be stacking lies on top of lies okay um give me one second here sorry about that i'm sorry about that let's continue let's go to uh Titus chapter 2 and let's pick it up in verse 13 looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ they call him Jesus Christ aka Lucifer they call him the great God. They're not referring to the most high. They, they're looking for Lucifer Jesus, their great God. Okay? That's what they're saying. I'll read that once again. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay? They're calling Jesus Christ the great God. You don't believe it? Let's go to uh, Philippians. Let's go to Philippians so you can see how they want you to bow to their great God. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 10. This is not honoring the Most High God at all. Nowhere in this New Testament are they honoring the Most High God. They mention the Most High God here and there, but it's all about the worship of Lucifer and, uh, you know, allegiance to Lucifer A.K.A. Jesus Christ. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 10. That at the name of Jesus. At the name of who? Jesus. At the name of Jesus. Not at the name of the Most High God. But at the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. How many knees? Every knee shall bow. Of things in heaven which is where the Most High God is and the angels and the Most High God himself and things of earth. They say everything in the heavens, which include the Most High God and the angels 
and everything on the earth and everything under the earth shall do what? Bow the knee to Lucifer Jesus. That's what they're saying in this blasphemous book. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 11. And that every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Not the most high, but Jesus Christ is Lord. You hear that? And then they say, to the glory of God the Father. What a blasphemy, you know, blasphemous uh, piece of crap this is. Okay? Let's go, to, let's, let, let's, uh, let's see when the Most High God uh, debunked this garbage that he just said. Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 23. I have sworn by myself because there is nothing greater to swear by than by the most high God himself. I have sworn by myself. The word is going out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return. That unto me every knee shall bow. Not to no stringy here Lucifer faggot, but unto me every knee shall bow and every tongue shall swear right there unto the most high every knee shall bow not unto lucifer jesus lucifer jesus is a liar jesus christ is a liar let's go back to exodus chapter 20 and, and verse 3 the first commandment again thou shalt have no other gods before me okay don't put no God before the Most High God, bowing down to him and stuff. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 4. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Jesus Christ is a graven image. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. And he's saying all of this stuff. He want everything under the earth to bow down to him. Everything in heaven to bow down to him and all of that. He's a liar. We're not bowing down to that freak. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Jesus Christ, a.k.a. Lucifer, said that he want every knee to bow down to him. He said that he want the things in heaven, the things on earth, and the things that are under the earth to bow down and worship him. You just read it. Open your freaking eyes, man. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. You hate the most high God if you worship in Lucifer Jesus. And you in those churches or camps or whatever that honors Lucifer Jesus. That got Christ in their names. If you got Christ in your name, you are you hate the most high God. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 6. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me. And if you and if you worship and serve the most high God alone, you love the most high God. And you keep his commandments. OK, so so that false God, Jesus Christ, a.k.a. Lucifer, want to receive the glory, the worship, the honor, the praise and the service that belongs to the most high God. To the most high our God only. OK, that stuff we belong to him alone. Lucifer want that glory. He said, I will be like the most high don't forget that okay let's go back to deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6 again for thou art a holy people unto the lord thy god the lord thy god has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above um all people that are that are upon the face of the earth chosen means what chosen means that the Most High ch uh, chose Israel alone. He chose you alone. And if the Most High God chose 
Israel, then that means that the Most High God selected Israel. He handpicked you, Israel. The Most High God settled upon you, Israel, as his chosen people forever. The Most High singled Israel out. The Most High God fixed, sated on Israel. The Most High God decided on Israel. The Most High God um, favored Israel. The Most High God wanted Israel. The Most High God desired Israel. The Most High God preferred you, Israel, over everybody else in this world. And you are going to turn and add another God, a, a, a partner with the Most High? Wow. Wow, that's crazy. We need to stop that, man. Only Israel are the elect people of the Most High God. And no one else is. Okay? We need to, we need to be respectful to the Most High God. Stop adding these these false, uh, you know, idols of Baal, Jesus, Jesus Lucifer. Jesus Lucifer is, is Baal too. Because Baal means white. Whiteness. It means white people. That's what Baal means. If you look it up, you'll see Baal means white people. Stop worshiping these white people and these white idol gods and stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 4. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect. Who is the most high elect? Israel, mine elect. Only Israel, mine elect. I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. We don't know the most high God, because we keep worshiping this, this, you know, Lucifer Jesus characters and new New Testament and stuff Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 5 I am the Lord and there is none else there is no God beside me I girded thee Israel though thou hast not known me verse 6 that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me I am the Lord and there is none else. The Most High is our only Savior, not Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ had nothing to do with the Hebrew Israelites at all. Jesus Christ said that he came to save the world. Jesus Christ said that he came to save every creature. Jesus Christ said that he came to save all people not the hebrew israelites but all people who is the savior of the, the israel isaiah chapter 45 and verse 17 but israel shall be saved in the lord who is that that is to say the most high okay but israel shall be saved in the most high the lord with an everlasting salvation you shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. And the world that Israel will be saved in is a world that will never end. This world that, that, that the delusional Christians claimed, claim that their dead savior who has been dead for some 2,000 years, okay, is supposed to come back and save them in this world this world that they're living in right now they say that they are saved now okay i was got saved in 1970 75 i got saved in 1963 i got saved in, no how are you going to get saved in this stupid world okay they think that they say right now in this messed up world but what do the Most High have to say about that? Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 11. And I will punish the world for their evil. You see that? How did you say it? When the Most High God said he's going to punish this world. 
and the wicked for their iniquity. You keep worshiping that false image. The Most High God going to punish you and they're going to punish you wicked behind for your iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. You think you know what you're talking about. The Most High God is going to destroy you. And I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Okay. Let's go to Joel chapter 2 and verse 23. Be glad then, ye children of Zion. Who is that? The children of Israel. The, the Hebrew Israelites. He's saying, be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God. For he has given you the former rain moderately and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. OK, Joel chapter two and verse 24. And the floors shall be full of wheat and the fats shall overflow with wine and oil. Verse 25, and I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palm, palm, palmer worm. My great army, which I sent among you. He's going to restore what was destroyed. OK. Joel chapter two and verse 26. And ye shall eat. In plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that has dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed but you 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 Christians you fake Hebrew Israelites gonna be ashamed when you see that you're pledging, pledging allegiance to uh, 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 idol okay and getting mad when somebody say something about that idol something you know degrading about that idol Joel chapter 2 and verse 27 and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel in the midst of who most high Israel what about those Christians no what about the fake Hebrew Israel no not in the uh, midst of them. I'm in the midst of the true, true Hebrew Israelites. I'm in the. Let me read that again. Joel chapter 2 and verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord your God. And none else. <clears throat> and my people shall never be ashamed. So the Most High God said, I am the Lord your God and none else. Meaning there is no body else. Okay, there's no other God that you should be going after. He said there is none else. And the Most High God said he's in the midst of us and he's not in the midst of none else. Okay. That is why. The true Hebrew Israelite, the Most High's chosen people, the Most High's elect, the Most High's remnant will never be ashamed because they are not going to be calling on some other God, some little hippie God, that false God, that idol named Baal, Jesus Christ, a.k.a. Lucifer, a.k.a. Uh, Yash Yeshaya, aka Yeshua, aka Yahawasha, aka, like I said, Lucifer, a God that their forefathers have never spoke of at any time at all. They're not going to be calling on no Lucifer, aka Jesus Christ, like those prophets of Baal. We're calling on Baal back in the day, okay? Those prophets were calling on Baal. Those prophets of Baal were calling on Baal for nothing. Nothing happened because Baal was just a statue. And, 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 and so is Jesus Christ. You're calling on Jesus Christ and he is he ain't nothing but uh, 
dumb idol, a statue. And you are nothing but a dumb idol worshiper calling on him, okay? And putting his name in your name of your organization and stuff, okay? Now, right here, what I want to do is I'm going to... Um, I'm going to end this study at this time. And not the study, but I'm going to end this this video the first video and i'm going to do a part two to this because i don't want to make this video too long and i do want to thank each and every one of you who have uh studied this with me and i'm talking about my people the children of israel i ain't talking about no christians or anybody like that i'm the mother dark-skinned people who are israelites okay that's who i'm talking to not messing around with anybody with no uh, fake um, fake uh, 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 people walking around talking about they Israelites with a fake chart and all that stuff. No, I'm not talking to you guys. But um, with that, I'm going to say, please do not miss the next video. But I'm going to say for now.